clutch component or clutch disc it is squeezed between the flywheel and the pressure plate transmission transmitted transmit power from the engine crankshaft to the transmission input shaft so there is the picture on the total component of the clutch system now the part of the clutch this is the clutch disc there is the friction facing so clutch disc some components are there there is the face this is the facing or friction facing that is the wave spring or the cushion spring and this is the central plate and some springs the coil springs are there this is called the torsion spring and this is the half middle center is called half and the half cover and splines now the clutch disc facing manufactured by the frictional material other surface material are paper base the face the clutch facing are made by the paper base ceramic or cotton and brass clutch disc type basically two types of clutch discs are there there is a rigid and flexible used primarily for industrial or racing application and flexible most common and everything from the grand mills cruiser and the street and street pressing flexible clutch disc flexible clutch disc is that means here some component are there there is the cushion spring this one is half that is spot pin there is facings there is torsion or coil spring drive washer so there is a picture of the flexible clutch disc so that is half so the half flange it direct the contact with the input shaft friction ring it direct the contact with the flywheel or pressure plate clutch facing is the friction material torsion spring facing damp dampener that is the cushion spring torsion spring and the further damping for the clutch application stop pin limit the torsion spring travel and the rivet rivet fasten the facing materials to springs clutch component pressure plate clutch cover so squeeze clutch disc into flywheel and can engage and or disengage act like a spring and loaded clamp pressure plate type there are two type of pressure plates one is belly 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 or diaphragm type spring and second is the multi coil spring and then and third is the semi centrifugal types so the belly belly types use as a cone shape diaphragm spring for clamping force clamping force semi centrifugal clamping force increase as rota rotational or centrifugal force increase now there is the belly belly or diaphragm spring there is the picture of the diaphragm spring now there is the picture of the diaphragm spring there is the diaphragm spring and there is this is the single disc plate spring and this is the drive plate so now the spring type pressure plate this is the coil spring type pressure plate or if you, you may call you may call finger type pressure type clutch that is the this is the clutch cover and this is the pressure pressure spring or coil spring this one is the roller and this is the stud and this is the release lever and press and pressure lever pressure lever spring so all our component are attaching to a coil spring clutch and it is the oldest type of clutch and it is too heavier than the diaphragm from spring so some of the oldest vehicles most of the oldest very old oldest car or trucks you may you might be seen that the coil spring clutch or finger type clutch are used nowadays are diaphragm spring clutch are used now the benefit and advantage the bevel or the belly belly or diaphragm diaphragm spring cost effective uniform engagement limited spring pressure spring and limited pressure capability 
a spring where and pressure may become inconsistent clutch component some clutch component are release or throughout bearing operated by clutch linkage there is the throughout bearing press against the pressure plate to release the clutch so there is the release of throughout bearing which is operated by fork or linkage there is the throughout bearing there is the picture and the slight transmission input shaft or bearing is retainer clutch fork release bearing hub as provide provision to attach it to the clutch fork clutch fork fit between release bearing and clutch cable or linkage has provide shaft pivot ball raise area raise area in the bell housing of which is pivots here is the clutch fork this is the picture of the clutch fork and here is the this is the bell pivot and this one is the release bearing and this one is the clutch this is the release fork so this is the total picture of the linkage system now here is the picture from the front transmissions and the bearing uh, the bearing retainer splines pivot bearing hub and input shaft now the clutch component another clutch component is pilot bearing it is installed into the machine bore in the end of the crankshaft or flywheel so maybe bushing ball bearing or roller bearing here is the picture this is the red color is this is one is the roller roller bearing or the pilot bearings now this is the clutch linkage or basically the clutch linkage are two types one is mechanical type clutch linkage then third and second is the hydraulic type clutch linkage so the linkage here is the linkage is the mechanical type clutch linkage so here is the picture this is the paddle and over center spring and the linkages and the bracket and the bumper and this is the paddle to equalize the rod which is attached to the uh, paddle and paddle equalizer rod also attached to the equalizer shaft equalizer shaft and retaining spring and using equalizer shaft retaining spring are attached to the fork and here is the picture of the mechanical the cable types the cable types are there is the clutch paddle and this is the paddle shaft and paddle shaft and there is the there is the clutch paddle linkages linkages and this in after linkage the cable washers are there and cable and cables there is the outer cable housing and there is the inner cable housing and the cable are goes to the cable housing are goes to the adjusting uh, release lever and is the adjusting nut and lock nut and retainer spring also attach now the hydraulic spring most commonly used in today is the hydraulic clutch systems so there is the uh, overall center spring and there is the paddle flat paddle and this one is the paddle are attaching some rod this is push rod and which is goes to the clutch master cylinder and this is the reservoir oil and this and the pipe this is the hydraulic lines there is the hydraulic lines there is the bending pipes which is goes to the uh, slip cylinder clutch slip cylinder and slip cylinder then is the clutch and and some linkage are goes out which is attached to the clutch fork and fork is attached to the throughout bearing so here is the more you linkage of hydraulic clutch hydraulic clutch master cylinders there is the picture of the hydraulic clutch master cylinder now the hydraulic clutch slave slaves are there there is the push rod boots piston caps piston and piston caps springs cylinder body cover bleed screws are there also so hydraulic clutch slaves quincentric type quincentric uh, concentric types there is the concentric type hydraulic clutch systems are there now the multiplate clutch multiplate clutch consists of a number of clutch plate instead 
of only one clutch plate as in the case of a single clutch plate it increase the number of friction surface obviously increase the capacity of clutch to transfer each of the alternate plates slide in groove in the flywheel and the other side on the spline on the power pressure plate the multiplate clutch here is the picture of the multiplate clutch there is the driver and driver shaft and there is a driven shaft the pressure plates those are the two, two, two pressure plates are there and this one is the friction plates and the friction plate and the pressure plates are there the number of driving and pair of six working of min multiplate clutch the clutch plate engage with the flywheel and torque is transmit the flywheel from the through friction facing to transmit the clutch shaft and hence rear wheel of the clutch also rotate when the clutch pedal is pressed the release bearing act on a pressure plate diaphragm and the move the pressure plate away from the flywheel the release bearing the camping force on the facing plate and separate the plate and allow the flywheel freely without turning the clutch shaft now multiplate clutch what is the advantage and disadvantage of torque transmit capacity is more its its size can be kept constant Li lining life is more and the one dis some disadvantages contact to complex heat dissipate is slow maintenance is difficult and overhauling is difficult so there is the cone clutch it consists of a flywheel and the cone mounted on driving on the driving shaft respectively the shape of the side side of the flywheel facing the cone is as accommodate the cone readily and when the clutch is engaged the surface contact area line and the facing line is facing lining how the working is the cone clutch there is the cone clutch picture now the centrifugal clutch now the final is the centrifugal clutch the centrifugal clutch uses the centrifugal force instead of spring force of skipping in the engaged position also it does not require clutch pedal for operating the clutch there is no clutch pedal at there the clutch is operated automatically depend upon the engine speed when this that means when the speed is increased the clutch is engaged that time so the vehicle can be tin in a in any gear by pressing the acceleration pedal stopping the gear without stalling the engine the vehicle can be start so it is the most is you comfortable clutch systems out there now the centrifugal clutch there is some pictures of centrifugal clutch the faster the rpm more is force being on clutch stays now we are showing the tata 407 clutch system now this is the this one is the clutch pedal okay now if you see the clutch pedal are connected to the push rod and push rod are connected to the clutch cylinder or uh, now if uh, the clutch basically the hydraulic type clutch systems are the component of hydraulic type clutch systems are basically two types one is primary component and second is secondary component the primary components are flywheel clutch disc pressure plate and throughout bearing or release bearing and secondary component components are pilot bearing release fork and slip cylinder now see if you see front side what happened the clutch pedal this is the cylinder this is the clutch cylinder this is the reservoir which is filled by oil and this is the pipe hydraulic pipe which is go to the to see which is go to the slip cylinder
this one is the flexible hose so the fluid are come to this hose and go to the slip cylinder so this one is the slip cylinder and this is the another linkage which is connect to the clutch fork so this one is the clutch fork and this is the bearing release bearing or throughout bearing and this is the clutch unit and this one is the fly wheel so this is the clutch cover or bell house and if you see the this is the another type of this is the another type of clutch system this is a diaphragm type clutch system so the bearing are are place center place to the center of the center of the plate clutch plate so this is the basic uh, diagram of hydraulic type tata chassis of hydraulic type clutch system and this is the linkage or linkage which is operate hydraulically now we have to show the diaphragm type and this is the diaphragm type clutch system so previously we seen this is the finger type clutch system the finger type clutch system or coil coil type clutch system and this one is the diaphragm type clutch system so if you see this unit is called pressure plate and this is a cover and this one is the clutch disc or friction disc and this is the this is the fly wheel so this is the maruti 800 component clutch component so this is the fly wheel of maruti 800 fed engine so and this is the frictional area you see minus this on the frictional area and if you see the clutch plate or friction plate those are the same things are there this is the friction frictional area that is clutch this is called clutch facing so both face both facing are place both side and it is attached by riveting system inside the facing some metals are there this is called some plates are there this is the called cushion spring in center the center of the part of the center of the part is called hub and there are some torsion spring are located here so and this one is a spline hub so those those are the spline are also, also situated now the same things are there and this one is uh, is also the pressure plate this is the pressure plate and this is the step strip spring which are connect connect from clutch cover to pressure plate and this is the this one is a called diaphragm spring so if you uh, open it you can see the, a single piece of the spring spring this is a is a is a same this are here and this is a not a it is a single disc spring disc it's called belly belly disc or belly belly spring the so what happen when you press and uh, the bearings that means the release bearing are located here so what happen when you this the 
the bearing are located here and fork also are located here so when is to when you push the paddle what happen the bearing are force centrally uh, forcing it or pressing it and what happen the out the clutch plate are clutch plate uh, sorry the pressure plate are come up so what happen now the pressure plate has come up the clutch piece are getting release so the power is disconnected so this is the process of the diaphragm